Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a usability speed test of the Apple iPhone. Adam Lane did a similar speed test with the Trio 800W and found everything to be quite fast. So I'm going to do the same test on the iPhone and see how long the same exact tasks that he did take on this device. So the first thing that we're going to do is switch between the email, calendar, and contacts application from the off position using any means possible. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to switch between mail, contacts, and calendar. Ready, set, go. Slide unlock, mail, contacts, calendar. Stop. And of course there's a screen animation on everything that you do on the iPhone, so that takes seconds to show up on the screen. Now the next test is to launch an application that is buried somewhere in the interface. And on the iPhone, applications really aren't buried anywhere. I mean, they're all placed on the home screen and sometimes they're just a flick away on the other pane. But, you know, if we were to do that test, let's, let's do it now. I'm going to launch Google Maps. Bam, it's there. Well, you got to wait for the screen animation and everything to render on the screen. But it's pretty much instant. I mean, there's no digging through menus. The next thing we're going to do is open up a favorite from the home screen. And again, this is somewhere that the iPhone really excels. Uh, since a uh, software update that allowed you to place an icon for a website right on your home screen, it made it very easy to make a whole page full of favorites so that one of your home screen panels actually becomes your favorites list. So if I'm on the home screen and I want to launch pocketnow.com, I click on pocketnow.com and, you know, depending on what kind of connection you're on, it's, it's going to be loaded on the screen. So the iPhone definitely excels there. Okay, the next test that Adam did was to launch the media player and play a playlist. Now, I've set my home screen, if I do a double tap for it to go right to the iPod. I don't think that's cheating. I mean, this is part of the usability test, but I think it's going to be a little faster. I want to play the Coldplay CD, the new one, uh, Vide La Vida. So, let me get the screen brightness back on here. Okay, ready, set, go. Here we are. There we go. That was pretty fast. Okay, now I'm going to try to add a new contact, and what you'll find is that the iPhone keyboard works really well with day-to-day -day text entry, but when it comes down to writing names uh, that, that aren't built into the dictionary, you're slowed down a little bit because the iPhone can't guess what you're trying to say and kind of, you know, put the word in there for you. So to add this contact, I am going to use this specified information. So we have, you know, John Doe, 1234 Anywhere Street, and so on and so forth, uh, just so that I'm not entering any old information, something that's actually prescribed here. Ready, go. This plus button sometimes is not responsive for some reason. There it goes. John Doe, save. Now we're going to add three phone numbers. I'm going to set this to the work number. Add another phone number. It's very easy to add phone numbers on the iPhone. Set this to the uh, main number. And one more. I'm going to leave as the mobile number. Okay, that's good. We're going to go down add email address. So we are at uh, example at test.com. Good. Go down to add new address. So we are at one, two, three, four, anywhere street. The city is nowhere. California. Zip code is nine 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 nine. Save. Okay, and we are done. Press the save. Done now. And now for the final test, I'm going to go back in and email John Doe, who I've just created new contact for. So I'm going to start by. I'll say go in a second. I'll go into the mail application, start typing his name, and then I'll tell him the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy brown dog. Um, ready, set, get in position here, go. 
J-O-H-N, there's John Doe, subject, test, and then let's go the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy brown dog. And the accuracy is fantastic. Uh, dog and send, and it's sent. Um, there we go. So the iPhone's really great at doing one test quickly. It's when you're multitasking that you run into problems. So if you're trying to go from writing an email to going to the internet and checking, you know, a stock price and going back to the maps and checking where the nearest pizza parlor is, that takes a lot of time because these screen animations are just so time consuming. Uh, and, and oftentimes when you click on an application, you get a blank screen for a few seconds until anything comes up and that applies to, you know, really even the settings menu. The animation occurs and then things show up on the screen and that's just many seconds of delay whereas in Windows Mobile everything's just so much faster. So I will look up the numbers of how long each of these tasks took. I'll compare them to Adam's results and if you think your smartphone can do it faster or if you have a Trio 800W or an iPhone or any other device and you think you can do things faster than you've seen then post a video response or let us know in the comments. That's it for now.